This is an AP Bio review about nucleic acids. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com, where your journey to AP Bio success and a four or a five on the AP Bio exam is waiting for you. Don't delay, sign up for a free trial today. We guarantee success to anyone who completes our program. Do it now. So we'll start by describing the biological importance of the nucleic acids. These are the molecules of genetic information. DNA is the molecule of heredity. It's what passes from generation to generation. It's the molecule that cells pass on as they divide and replicate within a multicellular organism. RNA has other functions. RNA is the hereditary molecule in some viruses, never in cells. And RNA's key role is information transfer, as in messenger RNA. So within a cell, here is DNA, the repository of genetic information. It um, has its information transcribed into RNA, and then that RNA goes into the cytoplasm where a ribosome will translate that RNA message into protein. RNA is a very versatile molecule. It's not in the form of a double helix the way DNA is. It can take many, many forms, and it can act as an enzyme catalyzing reactions. Um, ribosomes are essentially catalytic RNA. There are also other molecules called spliceosomes, microRNAs, that play a whole variety of functions. And I finally want to say that this typically isn't put into this unit, but ATP is a nucleotide monomer. It's one of the monomers of RNA, and it's the energy molecule of life. It's how cells get work done. What is the monomer of nucleotides? What's its structure? How are these monomers different in DNA and RNA? The monomers are called nucleotides. We just looked at ATP. All of these molecules have a five carbon sugar, that's shown at number two. They have a phosphate group that's shown over here at number one. And then there's one of four nitrogenous bases. So the nitrogenous base doesn't have to have this structure. Note that the phosphate group is connected to a number five carbon, whereas the nitrogenous base is connected to the number one carbon. And when you learn about DNA replication, you'll talk about things like DNA is replicated in a five to three orientation. And now you know that's about the five carbon over here and the three carbon over here. In DNA, the sugar is deoxyribose, and there are four bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. In RNA, the sugar is ribose, and the bases are adenine, uracil, cytosine, and guanine. At learn-biology.com, we understand why students struggle with AP Bio. It's a hard course, but we have a plan for your success. Go to learn-biology.com, sign up for a free trial, and complete our interactive tutorials and interactive AP Bio exam reviews. We guarantee you a four or a five on the AP Bio exam. See you on learn-biology.com. Now let's talk about the structure of DNA. DNA consists of two nucleotide strands, so easier to see in this flattened out version. Here's one, here's the other. Um, within each strand, the bases are connected by um, sugar phosphate bonds. So here's a sugar, here's a phosphate, here's a sugar, here's a phosphate, same thing over here. But the strands connect to one another by hydrogen bonds. So here you see G connecting with C, a connecting with T, and those are rules to memorize. Adenine, A, always bonds with T, C bonds with G. They have complementary shape. Their molecular dimensions are such so that they fit nicely within the helix. That's more of a story for unit six. Um, and note that these two strands fit together in an anti-parallel orientation. In order for the nucleotides to form hydrogen bonds with one another, they each need to be upside down relative to the other. And that's what anti-parallel is all about. We'll talk about this again more in unit six, but just to lay this down for right now, DNA is directional. Notice that in a chain of nucleotides, these are RNA nucleotides, you can tell because there's uracil, the nucleotide sugar binds with a phosphate, and then there's a sugar, there's a phosphate, there's a sugar, there's a phosphate. Well, the enzymes that build DNA. It's called DNA polymerase. And these enzymes, like all enzymes, have an active site. They only can work in certain orientations, and they work by completely by feel. 
and they can only add new nucleotides at the three prime end of a growing nucleotide strand. So that's what directionality is all about. All of these nucleic acids are built in the five prime to three prime direction. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP Biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.